take apart our IOB 18 volt lithium ion that will not charge anymore. It has a Torx security bolt screw and there it's a T20 which I don't have a security uh, one just have a regular one without the hole in the middle so what I did is use a very small flat screwdriver and try to take away that center pin to make it smaller shorter wear it out so then I could use just a regular T20 that's a Torx 20 and I was able to just get it into the screw and to start screwing it up and what I can tell there's four and maybe five screws to take out so what I do get the small blade you could probably maybe use a drill and what I do is I just try to wear out the center pin which is makes that a security feature but I don't have that one well that size and basically I'm just trying to wear out that center pin scrape it away so it sits lower than the top of the screw and then I want to see if I can fit a normal T20 and this might work Yep, almost got it. Let me take it away. I gotta put some pressure on it. Push down hard and start screwing. All right. I'll get into frame soon. Just so. There we go. And that is and that's number two. Yes. And when I say there's the fifth one, there's the fifth one down the center here, which is a T9 or a T10. I have a T9 that fits, but it looks like a T10 will fit too. Two screws. that center part of the screw I know the camera is shaking sorry I have to not stand that a little springy and it shakes every time I move the table with a small flat wear out that center pin in the middle of the screw as much as you can just so a regular non-security torque would fit and it doesn't take much so I think I did both Taking a second, I'm going to keep it away from the camera so I can use both hands close to my body. I can push extremely hard into the screw. Now I measured it. It read at 14.4 volts, but it will not take a charge. Okay, let's pause it for a minute. Ok, 
Okay, got all four screws removed. There's a center one in here, but I don't know if I have to remove that. So I'm going to Now this is a warning that lithium ion batteries carry a lot of potential charge. So if you don't know what you're doing, then I suggest don't do this. So I have the T9. I think it looks like this has to be taken out. Yep, it's a long one. This is a security one, which is not needed for the top one as there is no center pin. It's not a security pin. It's black and it, no, there is no center pin. So it looks like you have to remove this too. And there is, let's see, There is no center pin. I can't see the camera what I'm doing, but I know it's filming in this direction. So we're going to pry this open. Since this is keeping it up. Something is holding it down. Could be just a tight fit. So this, the lock and tabs are part of the bottom. Locking tabs are seem to be holding it down. Okay, there we go, just, yeah, the locking tabs, there's a little bit of friction there. Let's go to past that, and we're going to slide. Locking tabs are in the way, so they come out with it. Okay, they're gonna come with it. So make take out the sliders. So these gotta come up. There we go. And that's what's in. Looks like no name batteries.
five of them. The board is, so this is that. Not much to look at in there. And the board is under the battery pack. And how would you take this up? I think it's just a friction fit. I got something plastic. I'll pry up on this. connected to the pins. Uh, maybe it's just the wires. Make sure they're not getting hot. No shorting. So be careful you don't short any of the terminals or you're going to have a nasty little surprise. So somehow it's, there we go. Something's holding it in. Wires under there. Something is well, how would they do how would they put this together with very short wires in there? Something is holding it back, but I can't see what. It's not the wire. Oh. Well, my goal is to. Oh, there's a name on this battery. Something is holding it down and it ain't the wires. Well, why would it take out these? Sorry, where would that screw be into? And we could screw into anything. Unless that comes out, but unless that's separate, but I don't see it separate. Well, that's how you take apart. And unless I know how to take these clips out, which I don't want to show accidentally short them out. Two red ones are here and the black is there. Positive. Unless I push these down, but then there'll be uh, accidentally touching something. Don't want to do that. Why won't we just... I don't see anything else, but for some reason Unless the wires are really stiff, because there's still slack in the wire for me to stretch it out. Oh, maybe.
maybe not. The red one. Looks like something here will get pushed out. Like maybe these clips. Which doesn't look like it's happening. That's what it was. Gotta be careful of the oh. So that's the part that's in there. Just gotta push it up. And this is inside an 18 volt 5 cell lithium ion battery pack. And this is a Ryobi. Looks, it's not mine, this battery I got it from a buddy. And it's pretty crusty. Some corrosion there, looks like from the solder, solder paste. Very crusty. So, what I'm going to do is repurpose my batteries because these batteries should be fine, but I'm going to test individually. They'll be connected in series. Well, let's try. I don't know if you can see that. like 387 so it must be one bad cell for it not to want to charge in the battery charger there it is this cell is bad so none of it will charge so I got four good batteries so this one's the bad one. I should isolate it from the other one, but seems like that's the reason it's not charging on the Ryobi charger. One cell. Messed it all up. Because you got 14.4 volts, which would be four of them. Okay. Losing four volts and it will not charge. But like I said, that board is crusty. A lot of schnoz, schnoz on that. If you can see it in this video, I don't know, but all in there, it's all sort of light corrosion, but it looks like solder paste not shiny connection there at all and even this looks crusty on one side there you go